Hi my friends! Welcome back to another science experiment. I'm Tracy and this is Vanessa. And today we're going to do a couple of different experiments using vinegar and baking soda. So what kind of supplies do we need for this craft? Well, we're going to need some white vinegar. We're going to use some dish soap, baking soda, and some food coloring, a funnel, and we need some water bottles. And we'll use a tray too. But first I'm gonna use the vinegar. We're gonna pour in some vinegar into the bottle about halfway. Next, I'm gonna use some baking soda. What are we gonna do with the baking soda? Okay. We're gonna put this baking soda into the vinegar and it's gonna create a reaction. It, as soon as it hits the vinegar, the acid in the vinegar is going to mix with sodium and the bicarbonate and it's going to create some gas. It's called carbon dioxide. And when we breathe, we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide. You see, I'm going to pour just a little bit in here. And it all rushes out of the bottle. All right. So we're going to do something very similar, but we're going to throw in a twist. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add the baking soda in first. And I'm going to use some food coloring this time. I'm going to put it in here. As you notice, it doesn't have any reaction at all in this one. It just sits at the bottom, doesn't it? Does it matter what color of food coloring we use? Oh no, you can use any of your favorite colors. So I could use blue? We can use blue. What about green? Even green. Now green. I'm going to add in some dish soap. Because now I'm going to take my trusty funnel and I'm going to take the vinegar and we're going to add it in. The dish soap has slowed the process down, but it's still forming the carbon dioxide, but the dish soap has made it a lot slower so we can start to see the bubbles a lot longer. Next, I wanna show you something really neat. What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna blow up a balloon. How are we gonna do that? Not by using your mouth. Is there mm -hmm. any other way to do it? Well, let's experiment and see. We know that the vinegar baking soda, it expands and creates a gas and blows things up, right? Yeah. Well, the balloon will trap it so the air can escape. So let's see if this will blow it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a balloon and we're going to just put it on the end of our funnel and we're going to dump in some baking soda. Now we're just gonna put that on the side and I'm gonna fill up this bottle with vinegar. And we're gonna take the mouth and we're gonna put it right over top of our bottle, just like that. Now we pull this up. We're gonna hold on to here because we don't want it to push it off. What's happening? Why is it blowing up? Remember all the carbon dioxide? It's that gas that is pushing forward and all the way up. So it's getting trapped in the balloon. That's so cool. So when we turn this upside down, we're gonna put all the liquid into the bottom. Now I want you to feel the bottom of it. How does it feel? Ooh, that's really cold. Why is it so cold? Because it's creating an ectothermic reaction. Ecto what? <laughs> Ectothermic reaction. So it makes everything seem a lot colder. I had so much fun learning about all these chemical reactions today. Oh, I'm so glad you could join us and help all our friends. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Thanks for joining.